to your own art form of avadhana how important do you think spontaneity is to avadhanam for the benefit of our viewers dr ganesh i'll come back to you uh, and uh, let you go with the answer but for the benefit of our viewers avadhanam is a great art where the avadhani or the performer is expected to do extempore versification on a variety of topics on demand in under a variety of aesthetic constraints dr ganesh himself has given a very detailed and um, illustrative talk on avadhanam on uh, one of the tedx forums i would refer our audience to look out for that to understand the nuances of avadhana there so going coming back to you dr ganesh so how important do you think spontaneity is to avadhanam of course all art forms need spontaneity uh, without the magical touch without, without that midas touch of uh, spontaneity art will not glitter art will not uh, stand the test of corrosion that is very important but uh, this which can be said in avadhana any art where spontaneous creation uh, for the for a moment is very very unique and there lies uh, the seat of uh, uh, spontaneity and uh, again to draw parallels from other systems of learning because to make point uh, uh, robust we have to show that the relevance is found elsewhere and we see we do see parallels i have to draw from vigyan bhairava vigyan bhairava is a work belonging to the pratibhigya shaiva philosophy of kashmir a very very unique work which combines yoga and many other systems and there several practices have been given shiva yoga one such is called sahasa sahasa in sanskrit literally means becoming an outla usually an outla is called sahasi this way of going beyond la is the nature of spontaneity it is not uh, it turns out to be a hooliganism it is honest and a very very energetic approach of exploring new things this is much needed we know sase shri it is called only to heroes only to daring and dashing people every aspect of prosperity every aspect of glory they come in search of them it is there and this jigisha jigisha means the zeal to impress the zeal to win the hearts of the connoisseurs is also very important and uh, i think avadhanam among the arts it is the only kshatriya art i can say bauddhika kshatriya art where both brahma and kshatra are combined together i am ready to face any challenge like this a mystic war is being waged and everything becomes fair in war and love and it becomes more so fairer in art because uh, thus this war not sheds blood it sheds rasa and that's why this uh, sahasa is very very important and that's why spontaneity is an inseparable aspect of avadhana and in any other performing art we can see that we can certainly see the shades of that in music also we do have that's why we have various types of avadhana i myself have developed the chitra avadhanam and the avadhanam there we can feel uh, that the amount of uh, spontaneity is there but uh, uh, this uh, uh, what should we uh, in vedanta again trying parallels from other systems of learning vedanta talks a lot about indescribability anirvachaniyata and this anirvachaniyata is it can't be expected it can't be thought over it can't be planned this is not going astray and generating chaos it is generating cosmos which comes in the guise of chaos chaos is the purva rupam and cosmos is the uttara rupam all the dots which are scattered here and there they will all be connected and ultimately a beautiful painting or a beautiful sketch is being produced this is going to happen in avadhanam and i think uh, uh, any art should envy this and any art should welcome it and any art should raise up to that i shall also say that 
this is the hallmark of indian art because uh, we all know that uh, the world itself is created newer and newer in the nature also we do see the novelty and this novelty can be felt more so in that in such spontaneous artistry and that becomes the live wire that becomes the very breath of our arts how to sustain our arts it is only through these things let me explain them later but avatar uh, has like in other arts also unfortunately like in any other art we do have media pretty in avadhan and uh, avadhan is an area where media pretty may reign more because uh, the the bare minimum is the bar is too high and the bare minimum thing to be achieved itself is so perspiring and because of that media pretty can be very easily seen uh, <laughs> i agree with you without elaborating on it <laughs> so is spontaneity in avadhana limited merely to versifying on hither to unheard of topics or do you think there is more to it than that of course the major portion as you say it is in ashokavita you have often mentioned you have written as well if one becomes an ashokavi much of the avadhanitva much of the aspects of avadhani are covered there it is uh, the reality but at the same thing this ashukavitva itself takes many aspects not just uh, ashukavitva many other aspects are there it is something like a racing car becoming a warring car also a racing car's main feature will be speed but in a warring car you should have so many other skills apart from speed swiftness should be there and then dashing nature should be there courage should be there and then uh, uh, receiving the difficult uh, blows and uh, receiving the prints everything is needed everything should be faced and we should go beyond that that is the case of warring uh, arts likewise in avadhana it's not just ashokavitva we have uh, something like samasya purana and tattapadi and even nishedha akshara nishedha akshara is highly scholastic there the syllables are restricted and uh, avadani should uh, go beyond them and you should compose a new verse with all the restrictions there is erudition they should always be back by spontaneity many things that will not flash if there is no flash any more the erudition will have uh, nothing to offer and in uh, aprastha prasanga not just in versification even in other conversations for example aprastha prasanga kavya vachana a poem is being recited sang by one questioning then the poem is identified it belongs to which poem of a which poet and what is the situation all of these things have to be explained by explaining uh, the avadani should bring in the real beauty of it true beauty can be felt both when there is freshness we all know even today many products will have better sales just by one tag that is it is fresh freshness itself brings charm like youth youthfulness it brings so much of energy so much of charm and so much of promise so in art freshness is youth oh wonderfully wonderfully well articulated so uh you already touched upon a few of the vibhagas but if you have to sort of um, list down the vibhagas of avadana in um, their increasing order of um, um you know the demand of spontaneity or something like that would you want to categorize them or do you think it is a futile exercise no uh, always Uh, a nikkipur mind tries to analyze things prioritize things and that is the beauty of our shastra our shastras never say that it is anirvachaniya indescribable even the parabrahman is described so well and defined so well by our great philosopher anand vardhana says in, a, in the very opening of madhya loka kavyasya atma dhanit bodhi yasmam nata purva tasya bhavam jagadurapre kechit vacham stitam avishayam tattvam uchru 
Some people say, what is suggestion? It's beyond words. Tena prumaha sagadayamana pritaye tatsvarupam. So when there is so much of darkness, so much of chaos, and here to define it properly for the uh, for the enlightenment, for the help of uh, for the betterment of sagadaya. So tatsvarupam. And here to reveal the very nature of that. So that is the great tradition that gives so much mm-hmm. courage to people like me, Lester Martyrs like me, are also equipped with the graceful blessings of those masters. Samasya Purna, I think. There we have an amazing amalgamation of creativity, scholarship, spontaneity, lateral thinking. And out of box thinking, what not? Everything is put together in Samasya. There we have restriction and freedom. They find a wonderful harmony. It's a golden ratio, I can say. Wonderfully well said. I know it's difficult to compare different art forms, but uh, considering the fact that Avadani has very little by way of choice in his performance, would you would it be fair to say that? Avadhanam probably requires a higher degree of spontaneity than other art forms because basically you are reacting. Huh. Fine. It's a very difficult question, but uh, I shall attempt that. <laughs> Even in my college days, I used to attempt any difficult question. At least Mark should be allotted for attempting. <laughs> the, the words of uh, DVG who translates, translates more times. Uh, please consider me as I put my efforts. Uh, here, every art has an element of spontaneity. At the same time, training, practice, rehearsals, they do have a significant value. Ultimately, appeal and enjoyment is the hallmark of any art. Appeal can come by rehearsing, appeal can come by time-tested reproduction, appeal can come by uh, well-rehearsed and practiced products. Anyway, uh, I remember once uh, uh, Tennyson was asked, your poems are so spontaneous and someone showed few lines from his In Memoriam long poem and said, these lines have emerged perhaps directly from your mouth without waiting for uh, even batting your eyelashes. Then the poet said, I spent three cigars on that. So contemplated, thought over, meditated versus may also seem to be spontaneous. That is there. But in a performing art, performance of what? Performance of already thought over already practiced, already rehearsed things, that is at again performance. It will have its own appeal. But uh, the element of ponder is there. That cannot be ignored easily. Again, going to with philosophy, that is Pratyabhijna Shaiva Darshana. Uh, as many of the Kashmiri historians, they are Pratyabhijna Shaiva Vadins. And in the Pratyabhijna Shiva Sutra, there is one Sutra, Vismayo Yoga Bhumika. Vismaya is very important. And Sahitya Darpanakara Vishwanatha, he refers to one authority in his Sahitya Darpana that among the rasas, ultimately, wonder stands supreme. Because wonder makes a person humble. But this humbling experience will not be painful. He will be voluntarily submitting. So there will be a graceful way of accepting the defeat that is seen while enjoying wonder. We are amazed by looking at a great waterfalls. If you stand in front of the Jog Falls or the Angel Falls or even Niagara, everywhere we do see that element of wonder. And this wonder is triggered more when we come to know that it is spontaneous and not a rehearsal one. We all know, that's why again alluding to freshness, it is directly, it is directly from, coming from the orders of a cow. A deshi cow means how crazy it will be. How much relishment is seen here. It is directly plucked from the mango trees. A fresh pratyagra, 
Amrani, like that is there, people will be naturally carried away by that. And that's why this freshness, which is part of wonder, that plays its own significant role. Many Westerners were amazed by our Indian singer, who without even the script, on this part, who improvise. They should be considered as music composer, because in Western classical music, composer is different, conductor is different, and performers are different. But in Indian tradition, though the song is composed by Tyagaraja, or Murtu Swami Dikshita, Shama Shastri, or whatsoever, and even in North India, we have many Bandish composers, starting from Tansen and others. That is one element. But that will not be parroted. It will be enriched with the artist's own imagination that works spontaneously at that moment. To that extent, he is a new creator. New Sangatis will be added up. So also in dance, these things naturally make a, a true connoisseurs amazed by that. And then spontaneity is always seen in other arts also. But in Abhadana, this takes the cake. And that's why even a mediocre Abhadana is Abhadana is respected. Though not enjoyed fully, it will be respected. Respect is also a form of enjoyment. It's a form of submission. There are so many things. Many people like Ramayana because for uh, because of the values, because they respect and they adore Rama. They would not have appreciated beautiful verses of Valmiki, Chancha Chandra Karas Prasha, Shon Milita Tarata, may not be in, enjoyed by a devotee of Ramayana, but the Ramayana Rasika may enjoy it. But that will also have its role to play. These are very complex things, multiple layers are there. And then uh, we should think that uh, spontaneity has always uh, its, uh, its position, its place. Uh, dance also. Uh, I have seen many of the beautiful performances of uh, Dr. Patma Subramaniam. Uh, even in our situations, by her spontaneity, she appeals. Once uh, Rikki's scandal was uh, very much popular in the news media, print media, the then print media. Then Padma Supreme was performing Bhajago Vigdam, Nahi Nahi Rakshati Dikkani Karane. There mm -hmm. she showed by Angika, Nahi Nahi Rakshati 3G scan. <laughs> she showed that. <laughs> very suggestively. Uh, likewise, one dignitary, one minister, uh, he, he was making his exit in the middle of, uh, middle of the performance, uh, which is highly uncalled for. She was uh, performing one song of Purandaradasa, Oh Gubudu Uchitabe, Oh Krishna. Is it fair on your part to move from Vrindavan to Mathura, leaving all, us, uh, leaving all of us here and making us suffer from times of separation? So the Gopikas are uh, yearning, praying for Krishna to stay back. There she showed, turned to minister and said, Oh Gubudu Uchitabe. Like that. <laughs> this way of spontaneity can always be done uh, in music also. For that, uh, the artist should be capable. Uh, improvisation in terms of how music is done by our singer. But are they ready to improvise in terms of matu? That is lyric. It can be done. How come uh, music is not that sacred? That is, Dhatu is not that much sacred, so that one and all can uh, can ponder over that, can tamper with that, and only lyric is sacred. As in the case of Harishchandra, who is challenged by the Shandala Kanya, among five sense organs is the skin, the lowest, uh, highest one, and the rest of the organs are lower. By looking at them, are you not get polluted? By listening to our song, are not get polluted only when you touch. Uh, you get polluted. That's how you think. How come this untouchability is practiced by you? Like that, they ask in the words of the great Kannada poet Raghavanta, who composed poems before 700 years. What I'm saying is, in the lyrics also, there can be improvisations, again, within the frame of Kauchitya. My word is that spontaneity can always be done. Uh, the M.D. Ramanathan used to do so. To do so. 
ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ నలుపాలు ఇంప నడచి వచ్చి తివ ఎ వెరీ బ్యూటిఫుల్ కంపోజిషన్ ఆఫ్ త్యాగరాజ ఇన్ మోహన దే నడచి మీన్స్ వాకింగ్ ఓ రామ ఆల్ ది వే యూ హ్యావ్ కమ్ టు బ్లెస్ మీ వాకింగ్ బై బేర్ ఫుట్ యూ హ్యావ్ కమ్ టు బ్లెస్ మీ నడచి ఇఫ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ రిపీటెడ్ ఇట్ విల్ క్రియేట్ బ్యూటిఫుల్ సజెషన్ నడచి నడచి వచ్చి తివ లైక్ వేర్ and the composition of again another composition of tyagaraja in shuddha danyati enta nerchina enta juchina enta varalaina kanta dasule meer enta varalaina you you may be anybody but you also become kanta dasa slave to women enta varalaina meer enta varalaina var enta varalaina ink enta varalaina like that by little additions here and there little filigree work so much of beauty can be infused that way of improvisation is always possible and that is the product of spontaneity and varma this dikes varma while giving his uh, live shows he is the only person from india who made painting a performing art it's a plastic card was turned to performing art and many people have been inspired by him and there Uh, once in the first very first show the jugal bandi kavya chitra long ago before 30 years or so he painted a beautiful woman yakshi uh, question was posed to paint the kalidasa's yakshi in a meghduta she was uh, playing the lute veena and then he painted them using fresh beautiful colors are being used ultimately he put the bindi on her forehead through his fingers that is the magical touch you would have used brush but we all know in our tradition putting the bindi on the other forehead by using the finger is a, an act of sanctity is an act of sanatana dharma and that has been used to show that she is saubhagyavati her beloved yaksha is cursed and is away from her so all these things can be connected very easily by sanadaya a culture of tanashya an enlightened tanashya it is that so spontaneity is always seen in the arts as well so i take it that um, and by the way thanks very much for the detailed exposition and the illustrations it just goes on to say that you know it takes a very conscious artist to bring in this element of spontaneity and um, uh that is uh, that i believe is the realm of the very gifted ones some time ago you did remark that the the bar for avadhana is a little higher just to make it just just for the passing marks so to say so does it make it a little difficult for people to approach and take up this art form yes of course so why it has been made so because if uh, a person is walking on a tight rope uh, even if he is walking 2 uh, feet or 1 feet or even few inches above the ground it is as difficult as walking above 500 feet but 500 feet walking at that altitude is considered an amazing act by the altitude we have the risk factor as well so the risk factor adds to amazement adds to adbhuta and that's why if you have the bars higher and higher not all people may come but those who come they will stand they will enthrall because we all know such classical arts like avadhana they don't have a big fan following they don't have a fan following that can no way be compared with cricket or film or other things but when the smaller group is available kanashir they should be given a very concentrated enjoyment there's no meaning in dilution if we start diluting the element of wonder itself will be lost and this is a sahityika kreeda a literary sport and in sport we have fight and wonder uh, and the killer instinct as well in a positive sense all that has to be restored and even enhanced means the bar should be kept high 
I uh, fully agree with you. If you don't mind a small digression, since we have remarked so many times today about uh, creating wonder, lately uh, we are in the living in the age of uh, TV reality shows where there is uh, an hmm. element of wonder which is created, which may be real, may not be real. So, do you have anything to say about the wonder that is created or shown in these kind of shows? course uh, art directly openly declares that am fiction and that's why art cannot be blamed and no one can uh, uh, no one can uh, file charges against art that it is deceiving because it clearly says in a novel or in a film all the characters are fictitious if there is any coincidence it is uh, if any resemblance it is mere coincidence likewise at the outset itself it declares but in the reality shows where you said uh, the element of doubt that it may be a pre planned one it is a stage uh, conducted show something like that there connoisseurs really feel that uh, we are cheated because they have not uh, they are not genuine as to make that declaration all that is being done here is fiction they are trying to say that it is real but it is fiction so when art becomes a when art uh, undergoes this liability when it is not declared but in a public show spontaneity it is not happening so anyone can come at any time we can ask not once many other times uh, because to create surprise to engineer surprise is very very difficult i i remember devil b cecil a well known historian director and producer of uh, hollywood uh, great films like the 10 commandments and the greatest show on earth such films were all produced and directed by him he says to make things look scattered it needs so much of effort likewise they may need so much of effort behind making that uh, seemingly uh, spontaneous but uh, as it is not reality as it is not true if the connoisseur comes to know about the uh, the fact suddenly he will get uh, disturbed and that should not happen and that's why instead of this virtual reality actual reality should happen and that's why people should always come to the performing halls come to concerts come to uh, the dance halls and they they have to watch the artists in question blood then and there aapki farmaish as we call the slips have to be sent from the audience to the stage the singer he should look into it she should look into it and then sing accordingly so also the avadhani then and there receiving questions from the audience or looking at them or something happens it so happened once in my avadhana one bat just surprisingly appeared in the avadhana hall then itself i composed a full fledged poem on that such things they make the art uh, uh, appealing and they would serve the art for posterity as well if not it is a printed book it is a short film how many times we can visit certainly there is beauty in uh, in in a contemplated preparedness in a contemplated or rehearsed production there is beauty but the beauty is not associated with the element of wonder this can be brought in performing shows and we all know the world itself is an amazing creation it's constantly amazing it's constantly constantly wonderful so these two aspects one is getting merged in that nimajjana as we call that is shanta another is being lost submitting our one's own accord and losing one's own identity in front of the great amazement both are equally true and both are equally appealing uh, as we are 
focusing more on performing the art and restricting to it. Other literary arts are there, other contemplative arts are also there. They, the parameters of Prasad, Bani, Aushitya, everything they are applied as they are. But the prakriya, the process will be different. As we call the vapara. Vapara means activity and metabolism. That may differ. Uh, Dr. Ganesh, uh, yeah, please, please go. Uh, as you know, uh, dal or rice or everything is same in the case of uh, dosa or idli. But because of the process, the taste, texture, appeal, everything will be different. Yeah, so we, um, those of you who know you closely know that you are not just partial to Navarasas, but also to Shadrasas. So, <laughs> <laughs> so Dr. Ganesh, uh, uh, thanks for this long discussion on spontaneity with special reference to Avadhana.